So, before Adam, was there darkness in the world? There was that kind of darkness that God, uh, in, uh, it was the kind of darkness that um, uh, prevailed over the earth in the sense that God was not revealing him and herself to the mind of that ancient order. They had other means of, of, of defining their relationship to the mysteries of the cosmos, but it was not in terms of the unity of God's presence. So in that sense, yes, there was a darkness. That darkness still prevails. That darkness prevails over the mind of China. It prevails over the mind of the warriors all over the earth. Uh, but the scripture also says that this is the darkness in which God hides. So this is where God dwells. God dwells in the sun of all of those human realities. And so he hides in the darkness. But when God revealed the first Torah, the first, when, the, when the first measure of divine revelation came to Adam, then a new form of darkness appeared in the earth. You see, Paul says, where there is no law, there is no sin. So until the law came to the earth, man was incapable of transgression. There was absolutely incapable of violating the laws of God because the law had not come yet. And so only in this circle of the mystery of Adam can there exist transgression from the commandments of God because the commandments came at the time of Adam. Only Adam could transgress.